What's up, America? It's your girl bringing you some news you can use. We are live at the number one internet radio station, intellectualradio.com, which is an iHeart radio station. You can check us out locally, nationally, and internationally. We are also streaming on Facebook Live. We have a watch party. You can also check us out on Instagram. Or if you just want to listen to us, you can go to Spreaker.com, click, click on Intellectual Radio, and then look for Making Waves with Miss Darcy. We broadcast live right here every Tuesday and Thursday starting at 12 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Eastern. Today, my goal is to inform, educate, entertain, and inspire. In this Intellectual Dialogue Hour, we're going to be sharing information, giving introspection, and providing some inspiration. Have you ever thought about like every year, everybody have all these New Year's resolutions? What they gonna do, they gonna lose weight, they gonna get married, they gonna have a baby, they gonna get them a sugar daddy, you know, all this crazy stuff. And that this year will be different. Well, let's actually make that happen. Let's actually talk about that, walk about that. Let's just keep talking about it, sewing into it, getting people, other people on board with whatever their vision is. So do you have the drive, the vision, the creativity, and the willingness to take risks? So that's, that's kind of like a deep thought question. So we're going to talk about that today. But what we're going to talk about is your president, this Trump, and this wall and how Woo! it's affecting America. We're going to talk about move Thanks. through failure and sour, S-O-A-R, and the people that we all need in our lives. So please share the broadcast. Don't go anywhere. I got to tell you about my amazing day yesterday. We are live, intellectualradio.com and iHeart Radio Station. We not no longer making waves, we making tidal waves. Woo! Stay nice. close, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Don't give me the wave. Okay. I'm sorry, okay, I didn't so want to do anything. I just took the camera thing. That's okay. We'll just do it afterwards. Yeah, it's okay. Right. Yeah, I just got to remember, what I'll do is I'll come up with something we can copy and paste it every Tuesday and Thursday. Because I'll take it off a flyer for what the day is, the topic. So, you know, what do you want to tell people? We're doing the phrase, we're doing the phrase of page, right? Look at the pigeon, guys. You can say something. And win fifty dollars. I am your host here at Making Ways with Miss Darcy. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I'm gonna let my co-host and my guest. <coughs> she really ain't a guest, but she she bringing something to the table that y'all need. But I'm gonna let them go down the line and let them introduce themselves to you today. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your girl Alicia No Keys, and I'm here to make tidal waves with Miss Darcy. All right. What's up, everybody? Happy Thursday. It's me, Ebony Sarah Louise Kelly, and I'm so super turned up today. <laughs> OMG. Y'all ready? You ready, Sean? If you're not ready, you better get ready. You better get ready. <laughs> Be ready, because you know what? We are the Tasami Tsunami is here, okay? I love it, though. With, 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 like with uh, Miss Darcy. So get ready. Or you're going to get rolled over. You're going to get drowned if you don't get ready. That's get right. Ready. You better get ready. Get ready. You're going to get over. <laughs> yeah. So yesterday was such an amazing day. I started amazing. out with my girlfriend, Denise Jeffries. We went to an event that was at a co-op. Um, and we had a panel of six amazing entrepreneurs, Mary Datcher, LaVette Lofton. Can't remember the other in individuals' names. And it was at this building that they had redone. And it was amazing. I'm going to post it later or sometime between now and Saturday. But I left there and I went to uh, an investment meeting for D flat Tommy Water in mm. Oak Brook, Illinois at Starbucks. And, and this gentleman already had mm. several products in that particular Starbucks. We talked about taking my water to a whole nother level. So America, get ready because D flat Tommy Water is definitely on the move. Um, mm. I want to give a special shout out to the super producer Earl Winfrey who helped me rearrange my name because I had to make fun of the name and it will be two years that D flat Tommy Water is in existence coming up on the 31st 
wow. of January. Woo, so I am awesome. super excited. We are in 19 states and we've sold over 20,000 cases mm -hmm. to date. Come so on. So get ready. Get ready, get ready. We're really getting ready to make some mad moves, as you want to say. We finna, we finna blow up, we finna right? Tidal wave. So the deep thought for today or the question that pays, the, um, the phrase that pays, Listen very close, closely because you do have to recite it verbatim. If you want to move to a new level in your life, you must break through your comfort zone and practice doing things that are not comfortable. I'm going to say it again. If you want to move to a new level in your life, you must break through your comfort zone and practice doing things that are not comfortable. That will pay you $50. We'll give you the number to call in. One of you, I'll give them the number to call in. 708-223-8953. That's 708-223-8953. You was making the folks work for that I'm $50. Making they, 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 this was a long one. Them a lot of words. I had like six words, five words. They won't call us. I'm going to make you work for this $50. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when I say we going to break, the phrase that pays back in a moment, that's when you need to get that phone and start dialing those digits. Yeah, so bye. now. I'm going to let y'all talk about y'all president because, you know, I'm on, a, I'm on a high right now and I can't really deal with y'all president. <laughs> but he is not only messing with TSA workers. You know, they really don't want to be there anyway. But now they're not really checking because uh, I, was, I so, was told that a gun was on one of the flights for mm. them not testing like, you know, mm -hmm. checking like they normally do. Now your food, the FDA, mm -hmm. is not checking certain things certain products like they normally do because they're not getting paid. And now the government workers have been ordered to work without getting paid. I, you know, I tried to visualize that mentally yesterday. They're making you come work because they're saying eventually you will get paid. But here's the thing. This has a ripple effect because the people, most people, including myself, are one to two paychecks from being homeless. Oh, absolutely. Right? Tell the truth. Um, as a young girl, my father always told us to save six months or three months worth of what, how we live. Rent, light, gas, phone, you know, food, all of that. Three months. But then he changed it to six months as we got older. The problem is, it's hard to do that because everything, the cost of living is going up, going up, going up. So this is why I started the Millionaire Mindset Movement. And we kicked it off last week at my house. So I invited 20 women. We made vision boards, and I'm going to show them how to create three additional streams of income, also how to save money every month, right, and then work on their passion, vision, or talent. So they all got binders, they all got homework, and so we'll meet twice a month, once in person and once via conference call, and they will have accountability partners, and within these 12 months, their income will increase every month. And the only person that will stop them from doing that will be them. That's right. And so we're going to eventually launch this out to the public. My goal is to help a 1,000 individuals between now and December 31st. So we have a challenge that's going to start next week. I'm going to share with you all if you would like to participate. I'm going to show you how to save pennies a day. And by the end of the year, you will have $1,050. The next thing we're going to show you how to do, and we're going to all do, we have all agreed to do with those individuals that were at my house. We're going to start next Monday, and we're going to save a certain amount of dollars every day for 30 days. At the end of February, which we, I think is 28 days, everybody will have $500. <clears throat> so if you would like to participate in the $500 monthly challenge, hit me up. Because we're going to start this next week. I'm going to have my jar. I'm going to bring it to the station. I'm going to let you all see as I'm putting my dollars in. And if you were to do this once, you can do it again. And so imagine saving $500 for 12 months. How much is that? In yeah, that's dope. A lot. A lot. It's over $5,000. It's $6,000. Yeah. So can you do it? So we're gonna do it. Last year, I did it five months. I ain't perfect, couldn't do it for the whole year, but I did do it five months. <laughs> I had to go shopping, I had to get that sale, that purse, that what, that. All the color shoes. Right, but 
<laughs> the fact that I did it, it makes me hungry to do it again. the entire year again. So I'm going to challenge. I'm not perfect, but I'm, that's my goal. But I want some other people to do it too. So I'm challenging you to do the penny challenge and the 30-day $500 challenge. So if you want to do it, hit me up. We're going to start next week, and we're going to do it for the entire month. So hopefully you guys are on board. Of course. But Trump now is affecting people who have subsidized housing through HUD. Uh, the landlords are not getting paid. And he told the landlords, go in your reserve. Most landlords ain't got no reserve. They waiting on that money to pay their mortgage. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Right? And then individuals <laughs> that are working without getting paid. Oh, my God. You're already behind. You can't call ComEd. You can't call NICA or GAS. You can't call people GAS. You can't call your car note and your insurance and say, we're not getting paid. Because they already know that. But they're they, they not trying to hear that. So you got late fees on credit cards, on all this stuff. It's a ripple effect. And then the individuals who work, who stop and get that $7 latte, they can't even do that. So now the, the stores and the restaurants, everything is being affected by this shutdown. Trump is doing food banks because he's not budging. He's like he's having a, temp a um, temper tantrum. Temper tantrum, like a kid. I mean, he has to grow up, hopefully, sooner than later. Now individuals who got their link card, y'all correct me, they're saying that you're going to get it some days in this month, depending on your last name. And then after that, that's it. No. Until the shutdown government. Well, yeah. That's, that's it. That's something. So that's that. going to last you for this month and February. That's mm -hmm. it. What happened Go ahead and was tell today. That's on my fire. Go ahead and tell What them. happened today is they released link to everybody today for the month of February. Oh, wow. The people, I, I'm praying for the people that work in the grocery stores. <clears throat> you gonna know today? Oh wow! Of everybody who got link, <laughs> the system gonna shut down. Well, they don't know when it's gonna shut down. No, no, no. I'm talking so, about link system because everybody right. gonna be so in you don't to want, get that stuff. So you don't well, and, and you don't want money on your link card, and then you're not gonna be able to use it because the actual link system has shut down. That's what but I'm talking about. I think they're prepared. Grocery stores across America. Oh wow! Have been preparing for this day, extra stock and everything. Well, they got and food banks. Happened. I saw all the food banks yeah. they were setting up that's yesterday because Trump is in this for the long haul. Now, you guys tell me, should your president take whatever they offer them? Should the Republicans and Democratic give in? And listening audience, I would like to hear your point of view too. You can chime in on the live feed or you can give us a call here at the studio. What do you think should happen? with this government shutdown? I don't even really know where to start. It's it's so complicated and, and tangled. And I was reading the other day that uh, the, I think it's the head of the House of Representatives said that he wouldn't, uh, he wouldn't approve any bill that wasn't about the bill, like about the wall. Right. So even if they try to veto his shutdown, he's not going to allow them to vote on it at all so it's it's he's kind of got it in his pocket and it just it seems so so outrageous so wild so crazy that that you're going so crazy over border security only on the southern border yeah. if you were like that everywhere i'd say okay i understand i think it's a hidden agenda it is oh, and I, I, think, I, I believe it's, it's a money agenda, agenda. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because, because he changed the it. amount exactly and he changed the amount of what he need what the right. wall changed the, the amount the people that's gonna build a wall to change the, the and he won't the give supply. them anything they've asked for nope. as far as how are you going to spend this money and I just would love if we could get one person to come in and really who wants this wall to tell us what yeah, has anyone so done someone, you yeah, yeah someone listening and they would like to come, come in and share that with us absolutely I, I just want to know I, I, I've never been hurt offended abused beat up by anyone that that is you know of, of Mexican descent I, I, I you know I just can't see where or why the issue is so big about people we're talking about people yeah. you know we're not talking about animals I'd be the first one if y'all said snakes lions or I'd say look build a wall here's my three dollars you know right. but we're talking about people humans nothing could be that important this money should be allocated to our military who they pay 
pennies to. They have military people actually on welfare. Makes no sense. It doesn't. Okay. For our country. Right. Now, yeah. if he said, you know what, we're going to up the military pay, everybody would pass it because that's our sons, that's our daughters, you know. But for a wall, are you kidding me? You want entire America to suffer because you want to hurt other people, so you gonna hurt Americans? What is that? What you call making America great? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, is that is that what of is making America great? That's oh, what he called. Oh my God. That's, that's his point. Oh my of God. Of course. It makes no sense. He knows it doesn't make sense. I just don't understand why we all shocked. The man told us this is what I'm he was shocked. gonna do. I'm shocked. He told us before. He told us when we. Y'all elected him. <laughs> right. He told us like he what he was going to do because, I mean, he is, okay, first before, because I just got so much to say. First, let me just say, I don't like Trump. I am not a Trump supporter. I think he's an idiot. I think he has issues. He's a liar. He's a, um, a manipulator. All that. Just go down the line. That's what I believe. But at the end of the day, on today, what I'm saying is not about give the liar what he wants. I'm just saying, there are 800,000 people in the government that didn't get paid. There are so many other people that are not going to get linked. I don't want to live in America who gets their free food cut, right? right yeah. Or they can't live in their subsidized housing. Now, when you can't pay your car note in January, you're not thinking about how you're going to pay it in May. Right. Now, everybody wants to tell me, well, he got a hidden agenda, or what about that? I'm talking about now. So I get it. We all have our lanes. I get what you're saying. You guys have some great details. And I agree with everybody on why we shouldn't get the wall. All I'm saying, it's about people right now. Well, people, I go, I, people, I, it's about people right now. And people are, they are dealing suffering. with... Suffering. That's the word, suffering. suffering. So no, it's not about. And then what if he throws a tantrum tomorrow about something else? Exactly. He is gonna, That's why they can't give in. But he is gonna throw a tantrum about something else anyway. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. gonna do it anyway. Yeah. He's yeah. Trump. Yeah. This is my thing. Give him the wall. Save the people. Impeach his butt. And let's move forward. End up getting America great. That's just my opinion. And, and now, everybody's not going to agree with me, but I, all my life ain't nobody really agree with me. <laughs> but it's okay. I get it. But I'm telling you, it's something, Louise, something is Carl there. It's, about, it's just about people. Now, I, I want to hear, this is who I want to hear from. Who do you want to hear from? A person who is affected by the shutdown that still says... Let's do the shutdown. Mm. Where they at? Yeah, yeah. Where, that, I want to I hear yeah, them. Because yeah. I bet you it's not. You know why? Because unless we go through it, a lot of people who are saying, everybody that's saying, we 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 we, we going to go against Trump, it's a, I wish I can say it, but it's a contest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, I know you know what I'm saying? saying? Yeah. Who's stronger, who's bigger, whatever. Yeah. I want to know the people. See, everybody that's fighting it, they're getting paid. They're going home to their lavish house houses. Yeah. They're paying their car note. They don't have to worry about this. Their kids are being homeschooled. L Google the videos on the people that it's affecting. So that's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that Trump is correct. I'm not saying he's not going to throw a tantrum. I'm not saying that something's going to happen next month. I'm living in today. And today the people need help. I, I agree with you. I, I do agree with you. I do think even though... What, what I don't like is it's not what you do, it's how you do it. And I just don't, I, I can see the benefit of building a wall, not just on for some border security, but yes. just on like it, it generates jobs. So you've got, it now will. you've got contractors, now you've got people who dig ditches to, to build will. a wall. So I, I see the positive within it. It's just, it's not what you do, it's how you do it. And I, if you were to say, oh, it's for security and we're, we're beefing up security because we have, you know, issues with Russia and China and, and all. Speaking of China, China even has a wall at one point. They built a wall in their country. And it's not a bad thing. It's just that it's bent, it's bent and based off of racism and that's my biggest problem well that's like why I said, it's, it's not a bad you thing do. It's because it's, it's, mexico was a part of california yeah you know mexico was a part of texas okay mm -hmm. at the end of the day they're people they're people who deserve now granted he could take that money and hire uh, since it's you know you want people to go through the system okay let's create you know more jobs so that when they come in that you can get them processed quicker. Right. Let's do that. Right. But to hurt families, 
children, and, and I'm going to dig deeper. I had surgery. I had to have a kidney transplant. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't believe the medications. You would not the, believe. The money. How much they cost? Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God. It's a wonder if y'all see me out there with my can. Please put something in it. I will. But, put some cash at. But people who <laughs> cannot pay their meds will die. If I don't have these meds every day, I will die. Exactly. So who's going to hold the press? Because that's murder to me. When you're taking somebody's medicine, yeah. he should be charged with murder. Of course. he's That's he's, murder. Like I said, y'all y'all elected him. <laughs> yeah, he was clear. He was clear about what he wanted to do, things yes. like that. So I'm not saying, like I said, I'm not saying. But who would yay believe for it Trump. to this point? Who would believe that well, he would really Okay, let's do go this. like this. Bruce Rauner. Bruce Rauner, when he he went to every black church and said, I'm gonna do A, B, and C. When he got in office, he lied. He totally did the opposite. All I'm saying, Trump didn't lie to y'all. He this said I'm gonna be, he said I'm gonna be a liar. He said, I'm going to be a terrorist. He said, I'm going to manipulate you, and I'm going to do this. He told us. And, and, I, and I grab women. And the people, the of women's and the people the, like I say, it's not just black people on Lincoln and such. Right. right. So right. we're going to see the people that voted for him, those people yeah. that's not black, they're going to see. And that's what I hope. Just get him impeached, or he's not going to get um, elected again. I'm just saying, people out here are hurting. Oh my my BFF, my OSHA in um, Texas, she said her block, they have a lot of people in the government that work, you know, that on her block, they work for the oh, government. Wow. And they, they, as a community, they are like really helping them like that's pay their good. bills. That's good. Now, that's good. but, and that's really good, but, but unfortunately, they do that, and, right? they, and then that can't happen everywhere. I, I only got $10. Now I might give, I might be able to give you one, mm -hmm. yeah. but I don't know if I can be able to give it to you consistently. <laughs> so it is about, it is about helping the neighbor. But at the it end is. of the day, I know Trump is wrong. I know it. I'm just saying, go through the process. It's going to take three to four, five, six, seven, eight years to even get anything approved before they even break, break um ground. Trump going to be way long gone somewhere. Because, you know, once he's not president no more, he's going to have to go and hide. And, and then the thing about this, the ripple effect is that individuals who are already struggling. Yes. And now you're pulling their money. And now they, it's like trying to catch up, playing catch up. Because if you were already struggling and now you don't have any money and you're going to work without paying, you eventually get this money, right? You, it's still not going to make up for all the late fees. It could affect your credit. What about Everything. losing your job you lose your, because your babies were going to daycare? Right, you could lose they your car and they then ain't got nobody to watch the kids. And right. you still want them to come to work. People ain't babysitting people kids for, for free. free. No. And then right. it's those, and what you talking about. you going to tell your car, your car payment. Your car payment. I know. They what? won't, they, you know, I'm just saying. Some of, them are going, some of them will work with you. And that's why it's so important, people. Come on with it. We can't get caught up in a career that's somebody signing your paycheck. And I, and I know... You all don't want to hear that right now. But the, the reality is, eventually, we're going to all become entrepreneurs because it's going to show you how to save. <laughs> yes. You've got individuals who work a job, and everything has got to be confined around the hours of that job. That's right. You can't go to the doctor. You can't take your tears to the doctor. Everything got to be done before you start or after you finish. And, and so people say, well, entrepreneur is not for me. It may not be for you, but eventually it may be for you because now the individuals who've got to work without getting paid are doing Uber and Lyft. And Baby, everything. don't get me because started on that. They're making they cookies, got, they, they cake. Make cookies they're cutting they, my they, pay. These two sisters just launched a, a bakery, a cooking, you know, making cookies. you got to do what you have to do That's because right. guess what? We don't know how long this is. I pray they stop because oh it's affecting God. people. Yes. It really is, and it's sad. I was in I was in Buffalo Wild Wings the other day. Give me some wings, and I was sitting there and I watched uh, a black woman come in. I think she was Grub Hub. It was like five. It was a black woman, a white man, an Indian man, a Mexican woman, and it was another uh, person. I'm not sure mm -hmm. of the uh, nationality. And they all had one had Grub Hub, one had uh, Postmates, the other had Uber Eats. And what I saw, they were waiting. What I saw was, it's a hustle out here. Yeah, yes. Everybody needs to make some money. And I saw these different nationalities. Everybody's affected. It's not just one yeah, right. culture. Everybody's affected. And I'm yes. like, man, it's, it's deep out here. The struggle is and real. me driving Lyft, I used to be able to drive eight hours a day and make at least $140, $150. The other day I was on the street, eight hours. 
and I only made sixty dollars. Oh wow! Because everybody else because everybody else is on the street. So now I got to think strategic. So now I gotta try to drive overnight because there a lot of men people going to the strip clubs, and um, oh, I gotta try to get up yeah. early. Like you can't do just regular daytime. You gotta be yeah. strategic. And then I just said to myself yesterday, Ebony, you gotta find something. So hey, anybody need a job? Right. Yeah. I need I need some work because I gotta supplement now because I'm not gonna make that eight hundred and fifty or nine hundred or a thousand dollars at the end of the week. I haven't been able to do that in the last two three weeks. Oh wow. So it's personally affecting me. So my hashtag, give them the wall. Yeah. Give them the wall so we can eat. I hear you. Now, my thing is with the link cards. Now, people get a lot of money on their link cards. It's hard to go shopping and spend your whole link card yeah. in one day. Yeah. Where are you going to put the food? There you go. That's the thing. This is my suggestion. Can't now, do. we should not sell our link card. We should not. It's bad. We should not. You shouldn't do it. It's hard <laughs> times mean, right now. My thing is... Find somebody where you can give them some of your link today because you can't put all the food in your refrigerator. Yeah, true. And in two weeks or three weeks, let them give you that cash yeah. to help supplement your income. Yeah. And that and it works. So, no, you shouldn't sell it because you're trying to buy gym shoes and stuff like oh, that. No. But right now, we're trying to live. And if you find somebody who can give you that cash, yeah. you know, in three weeks because all the food won't be able to fit in your refrigerator yeah. or your freezer. And then you'll have that money coming in and it help supplement you to maybe pay your cable bill in two or three weeks or something like that. Yeah, that's just that a, Dang, that's just a, playing with that. That's like just you're a, already. And that's the thing. That's why it's important to pay your stuff on time. If you can't pay it on yeah. time, this is what I've learned from my parents. If you can't pay, if they say you if you got a thousand dollar income and your bills is twelve hundred, I get it. Mm -hmm. You got a problem anyway because you're overspending the money that's coming in. But that's you need to take at least a hundred or two hundred dollars and put it up. I'm gonna tell you why. And people say, "Why can't I pay all these bills?" Listen to me. You have to have some reserves somewhere. Yes. You can have a flat tire. You can need medicine that's not covered yes. by your insurance. Your glasses could break. It could be a Everything. number of things. You gotta have a safety net. You gotta save some money. And then you take that thousand. The remaining out of twelve, take that thousand and you divide that money up. So if you owe Nike or ComEd. 150, then you send them 100. The yep. thing is, when you don't send them anything, is when the Dick's connection comes. That's good. Yes. Now, you can't just say, well, I'm going to ignore it. I got 30 days. I did that. Yeah, you do have 30 days, but now they want the whole amount. Yeah. yeah what you, and you don't have to call and do a payment plan. If your bill is 150 and you send them 100, they're not going to send you no disconnection notice. They're just going to add to the next bill. Yep. But the what they need to see is consistency that you that you're paying every month. Yeah. You can't just say I'm not gonna pay because they will shut you off. And that's why I'm really glad to be connected with you, you guys, just um, being able to collaborate because that is a mindset I need to shift to immediately. So even if money. you like me, it really wasn't a big deal or it wasn't important. It isn't. It's important to me because now. Because guess what? We get, you get too comfortable. We all get, get comfortable. Yes, you we do. You can't get comfortable. I'm because get that that's when something week. happens. Yep. You, we yep. have to be uncomfortable all the all time. All the time, Jesus. So I, I got a penny. I got a big old thing with pennies that I had Cheetos in and pretzels in from um, Sam's Club. I put pennies in there. I got another one that I put throw change in there. Whenever I break a dollar, I get the change out of my wallet. I throw it in there. Then I got one where if I break a five or break a ten, any, any singles, I th and just forget about it. Yeah. You got to do this. Yeah. You it's have to do this. I don't yeah. know how many times the piggy bank has saved me. That, but see what I'm talking about? Chicka, 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 yeah, chicka. Okay. That's turned up that thing. If you yes. got a problem saving, call me. Because you can give me some money and I give you a receipt to hold. And if you say hold it for three months, guess what? She going to hold it for yeah. three months. You're not really? getting, you can't call me back and say, I just need $20, Darcy. Call my friends. Call my children. Because <laughs> they will be crying. You said three months? I'm going to hold it for three months. Now, if you just keep on calling me for this money, I had to give you an example. lady gave me $100 to hold for her. She would give me $100 a month. She gave me $100. It wasn't even a week. I just need $15 out the 100 I was like, nope. Come on, Darcy. Nope. Find a way to get it or you don't get it. Come on, Darcy. If I give you this $15, I'm giving you the, the whole 100 Because I'm right. not going to go through this with you. Right. Right now, I got four receipts that I save money for people. They save it for vacations, 
They saving for Christmas fraud because they said they put it in the bank. They gonna go get it. You can open That's up true. a save, but you can open. Watch this. You can open up a savings account. I done did all this because mm -hmm. I'm a shopaholic. I just, it just it is what it is. You can go and tell the bank I want to open up a savings account. I don't want no debit card. I got to physically go into the bank to get this. I want to make it as hard as possible to get this money. And how and how did, how you weren't able to touch it? You got to go into the bank and whenever I needed the bank was closed or wasn't open yet. I mean, you got oh, to really, so it wasn't a part of like on your online yourself. banking. You can your do that too. Some people that don't work for cuz they can still get it. I'm trying to make it work yeah. it's hard. It won't, for that you don't work for me. Get it. And if you if that don't work, call Darcy. Because I can promise you, if you give it to me the whole and I give you a receipt, you're not getting it back until the date you said you wanted it back. That's good. I can promise you that. Been there, done that. Got mad, everything. I'm telling you, I done had lights cut off. Get, I done been through all of that because I'm thinking it ain't going to happen to me. I'm like, huh? Comment, nitro gas, and people's gas don't care nothing about you. But if you panic consistently, if you owe 150 and you send them 100, if you owe 100 and you send them 70, as long as you put something and on you it. you got to yeah. put something put on some it. Put something on it. But let me tell you we another good thing. That mindset. You do. And, and yeah. if you're paying a bill and it's paid off, let's say you bought something, you just take that money and convert it to your savings account. That's it. That yeah. sounds yeah. so really good. And, and it, But it is simple. It's just because not you weren't work. using it anyway. It's it's no, I mean, it's, it's discipline. discipline. It's, it's discipline. discipline. You're right, it's Charmin, because it's when, I, when I paid off my car, yep. that's true. And I knew I wanted a Lexus or a Range Rover. Right. The money that I was paying priest with my car note, I saved it. Let's see. And I did not touch it. That's right. And, and, and I'm you getting slow learn. trying to rationalize. Well, I got that money at home for that car note. Let me get uh, uh, And that's uh, good. And that's and so that's then I stopped. Happy. You know what I became? The Lailway Queen. Then I stopped putting stuff in the Lailway. See? And then when they didn't have Lailway, I couldn't get it. I'd be standing there trying to figure it out. If I do this, it ain't that serious. Right. Yeah. It's, and I, and that means I don't need it. That's right. Yeah. That's I just right. want it. It's different between a need and a want. And we have to learn that. And being an entrepreneur, walking away from my six-figure income, walking away from corporate America, it has taught me to save, to play the game, do I need it or do I want it? We have to. That's good. Things happen in an instant. Well, that's what happened to me in an instant. I was sick, deathly ill. You go from making 80000 to eight. And what do like, poor planning, mm, what, what's the term? You poor know? planning prevents poor so, uh, yeah, 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 no, you, you plan it's not that you plan to fail you fail to plan, plan. but, but it's, it's, plan it's, a, it's, a, it's five p's though poor People. planning something i gotta figure i can't remember what it is yeah. but i'm telling you it's just that serious so we're gonna talk about goal setting because uh won't nobody call in that's being affected maybe they're just too out of it and i get it and just so like even later even later listening to the broadcast i just yeah. I just want to hear the thoughts of too. somebody who this is being, they're, they're not working, they're furloughed, either they're at home not working, or they're an essential employee, which means they have to go into work and not get paid. Yeah. I want to know if there's anybody out there that's like that, that is supporting, um, that's saying, don't give them the wall. I want to know mm. that. I want to know, are you saying, are you in this position and you still believe that you shouldn't give them the wall. I would love to hear your I thoughts call. because that yeah. that may change that may it may change my mind. You know because it's not about I'm not it's not about right or wrong. This is my perception. Yeah. My perception. Yeah. Eight hundred thousand. I just keep thinking. Eight hundred thousand employees on last Friday oh didn't get paid. Oh yeah, my god. And, and 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 you know and what? And I'm gonna and I'm gonna stand right and, again. And, and I'm gonna and I'm gonna step out and I'm gonna say, yeah, That's he's a fool. Problem. Trump is a fool. But what he did do, instead of waiting to February for people not to get linked at all, yeah, he did, did. they released it early, 15 days. But now you won't get no more until they until the, the shutdown but, is. But but they could have not even got February. Well, that's true. That's so I'm just, put, I'm, I'm just always they looking at the provide positive. the banks. They're doing the food banks. So they are looking the out banks. people because they're saying that they're in this for the long haul. And, those, long haul and no, those, those lines... In Chicago, for the food banks, for the different churches, God bless everybody who served with, um, you know, passing out food to the ones that need it. Those lines are already long. But what on are you, Wednesdays how are you gonna and cook, Tuesdays? Though? How are you gonna eat? How are you gonna eat if you don't have any electricity in your house? You give me all this yeah. food, but my electricity's off. So now what? So give them the wall, Sean. No, you're not. Come getting, on, hashtag. No, you're not getting. I, support I, I me. I can't, hashtag, I can't, I can't, give them the wall. I can't. I can't. I can't okay, I can't. so this is my question. This is my question to you. Here it is. Darcy? Proper preparation prevents poor, poor performance. performance. 
This is my question to you two. Not get it. Okay. And remember, I'm not supporting okay. Trump. Right. I I'm not. I'm, support, I'm supporting the people. Okay. Go ahead with your question. My question is. Okay. <laughs> if no. you say, Pat, don't don't give them the wall. Mm -hmm. My question is, well, what do you say about the people? Well, you know what I say about the people. You know. I, I really don't even know what to say I feel about the you. people. I'm sorry. And, it ain't me. Well, but but no, yes, but I don't think it's that. I, I didn't mean to cut you no, off. Go it ahead. was just that um, you were saying what about the people. And I always like to use this example because it, it's pretty powerful. A lot of people say that the uh, the worst Nazis weren't the actual Nazis. It was people that didn't say anything. It was people that let it happen. Right. And, and I think the the like I said, I, I understand the, really the positives on both sides. But what I'm saying is is more so leaning towards not giving him the wall is the fact that we're standing up to uh, racism, we're standing up to intolerance, we're standing up against idiocracy in our White House, we're standing up against all of things that he has been trying to promote since he's been in office. And I think that's more so the we've idea standing, of, of we've people We've been standing against that since he, he got elected. This is not but, new. But this is what I'm saying. It's just another. This is a different choice that's affecting the world. But he's been making bad decisions the whole time since he's been in office. But we, we've been verbally saying stuff and, and trying to, and we're doing everything in our power as the people when we had the hashtag vote movement and, and trying to educate people on politics. Uh, even certain radio shows are starting to do uh political segments where lawyers are coming on and explaining politics and stuff like that. So it's moving, but it, just like the economy, it's a steamroller. So, so once it hits a wall, it's going to take a while to start up. And so we're okay. starting up slowly. And this is just, to me, another stand against. I get it. You against. sacrifice the lesser for the greater to move on. That's just what you're doing. Because you're, you're, the, the ones that are affected, they're being sacrificed. But, okay, but let me ask you this then. Because you know it's already been established that that he lies or has a, oh, yeah, a lack lack of memory. I do you know, not I, like him. He has a lack. Of, but but here's my thing: if we give in because he's a liar, wants mm -hmm. five billion now, and, they, and they've given him what he wants up until he changed it to this five billion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what happens if we say yes? Congress says yes because my girl Maxine Waters is not playing. No, she's not. If you say yes, and then he says, well, you know what? Since it took y'all so long. I want ten billion. Now, what do you do? What's going to be the difference if he says that right now? No, well, th there's not a difference. But I mean, why would you um, succumb to him, and then you say, okay, we're going to give you what you want, and then he turns around and changes the game? You have yeah, to be able to I just stand. Don't and I just don't believe one man. I believe God. At the end of the day, God got this. Absolutely. And I believe so that's why that. We're and I'm just. On our but it don't but take we're five standing, million dollars to build a wall. No, but, not, not million. But I'm not. Billion. But there see, you go. But, but remember, that's not my lane of debate. The details. My whole thing. I'm for the people. I don't care. Well, I don't want a wall. I don't. I don't want. I don't want a okay. wall up. Like they've had all this money built. They say they gave fifty one billion it. already. Build a wall. Where's the wall? I get people it. are still coming. I'm just. People are going to come. The banks have vaults, and people still robbing banks. Okay. So you're going to get people in. They had walls. They they ca captured one of the biggest drug dealers, but he. Brother went through the wall, through the through the ground through the tunnel. Yeah, so the, people that yeah, want to get yeah. something done will figure it out. And and if neighborhoods get together, see this might be God's way of saying, you know what, y'all yeah. gonna y'all gonna drop the wall in America of racism, and you're gonna lean on one another. You're gonna lean into one another. You're gonna love one another. But that's what thing, you're gonna do. But my thing is, the wall would never go up. He's and gonna that's be impeached. Fine. He's going to be impeached. He's going to be out of there. I, the wall would never go up. Do you know how long it takes to even prepare to build a wall? It's going to be years. We got to we gotta cover our grandchildren because they'll be the ones fighting the wall. It would, ta it would take forever for that to stand. happen. My so thing, my so thing just wait. I just want to make sure I'm clear. Okay. I want to make sure I'm clear where okay. I am. Go ahead. I, I don't think we should build a wall. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I don't like Trump. I don't like Trump. You just want to have I don't money. like I want to save the people. The people are hurting. How give it to them. Wait a, them, Wait a minute. Save them. Wait a minute. Give them. Give them. Give them. How do we know it's not? Same. Do we in the same? Right. See, so we all in the same. So I get that. I'm on your team. Right. I know you. I'm just yeah. saying that give them the wall, meaning do the paperwork. He'll be impeached. He'll be gone. And let's do the reversals just like he did everything with Barack Obama did. Prayer. Oh, I, I'm just, and at the end of the day, and at the end of the day, the reason why I'm standing on it, because I just believe that the people should come first. I believe that God 
has all this. I believe he got Trump. I believe everything that Trump is doing, he's allowed of to course. do it. Because yeah, when God's course. in, right. So as people, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Give them the wall. Let the people be able to eat. Let them be able to pay their bills. Give them the wall and watch God work. That's my stance. All right, there you have it. Yeah. With y'all president and this wall. Yes, he gets us all heated. All, we, should be, we should be praying about <laughs> but it. But we love one another. Yeah, but, but you know what? Thank you, Darcy, it. for just giving us the opportunity, the Christy platform Green to talk about me. it. Yes. Yes. Because, because everybody... I'm going to my way over to that table right there with that body. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to get that. Please give me a chocolate next time, too. Okay, I got you. I got you. So let me just go down these goal settings and then you all can comment right quick. So to achieve our goals, we still, we are two and a half weeks into 2019. Mm -hmm. We make all these goals. We make all these plans. My vision board will this weekend be on my refrigerator, in my office at my house, and in my bedroom. Because those are the three rooms I frequent the most. I might put it in the basement, too. But you have to write it down. You do. So that it's in front of you. It can be up here, but you need to have it on paper. Yes. I don't care what kind of paper, right. but you need to have it on paper. Something. You got to get, get clear about what you want. We were talking before we aired. And I was telling ladies, I need seven strings. I was at a meet, uh, meeting yesterday by my water for an investor for a million, for two million, whatever you need to get this water off and mm -hmm. running, doing e-commerce, all these things. So stay tuned for details on this. But my thing was, I need seven. I need to get a check. I would like to get a check every day for 30 days, for e I mean every month. But I'm going to need at least seven checks every month. I don't care what day it fall on. So when I do my deals, I'm going to make sure that it's not the same day. Because I'm going to need the money coming in throughout the month. Yes. You know, and to me, that's creating generational wealth. Well, yes. yes. And which is something that a lot of us don't do. And I am determined yes. to do it. And I also got on my vision board my retirement plan. See, I'm getting deep with this. Not just the streams of income, not just the generational wealth. But I want to retire. Now, when I say retire, I'm going to still be here working to produce a nerves at Intellectual Radio. <laughs> but I want to live the life I want. I want to travel. I want to yes. take my entire family out yes. Yes. on a cruise or on an island. And they ain't got the want for nothing. Because remember now, I'm getting seven checks a month for yeah. the rest of my life. Because if you planning for Social Security retirement, you got a big problem. I'll do, that's a whole yeah, nother that's show. A whole nother that's show. a whole right. nother show. So you need to get clear. Yes. Get your vision on. board. You can go to the dollar store. They got the glue, the tape, the markers. Get you some magazines and make your get busy. vision get busy. plain. Put it in front of you. This is serious, people. I yes. need you to wake up and do this. So promise me that you're going to do this before the end of the month. Right. You right. got to do this. If you need help, call me. But you need to do this. Then I'm giving free 15-minute consultations on your passion, your talent, your skill. I ain't say quit your job, so don't go tell nobody <laughs> right, right. I said that. But I want, I want to pick your brain and help you do what you have for you, what's for you. Because guess what? Somebody is waiting for you to get off your butt. And do you make your passion your paycheck? Cause they need your services. They want your services, and they waiting on you. And guess what? I'm waiting on you too. Absolutely. It's time to do this. It's time to do this. I, you know, I sit in this chair and I laugh and talk, but I'm serious. We have to take responsibility for us. Yes. Ourselves. That's right. If you waiting on somebody else to feed you and take care of you, you in trouble. Uh, I think they see that now. You in trouble. You real trouble. Don't send mixed signals. Know what you want. If you want a free consultation, call me. I'm here to help. That, that's my goal in life is to help you be successful. That, that's just right. it. It, it, right. it is. Whatever that is. Whatever that is. And if I don't know, I say, well, you know what? I ain't sure. But let me research that because I can research some stuff. And I can get back to you on it. So don't say that. You don't have the information. You don't know what to do because I'm putting my services out there to you. Now, they ain't going to all be free, right? Right. But I can help you get on your way. My ladies last week, they got binders. They got homework. They didn't have to pay for nothing. And they left with a goodie bag. And then we right. had prizes to make sure they was paying attention to what I said. Right. So, so I'm offering... telling you, free 15-minute consultations. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. We got to stop being afraid. We got to step out of that box. Because yes. people right now, 
They didn't know this shutdown was coming. Ooh, Neither did nobody. No one but knew. they wasn't prepared. We have to be prepared. So that's one stream of income and you can't function. But if you had seven or three, you'll still be like, oh, you know what? It's coming. Because I'm going to get this money from these other two. Mm -hmm. We got to get on top of our game, people. That's we right. got to get serious about life. The struggle is real. It's real. Yes, it is. How do you want them to reach out to you? Call me on the water line, 708-998-3799. You have to achieve your goals. If you don't, if you, and don't call me talking about you good at everything because I can't help you. <laughs> right. I, I really can't. I'm being honest. That, that's a big one. That one, that one's hilarious. Because I've met with people yeah. and I said, well, what are you good at? And I make them draw the plus and I make them think. All I need is a plus sign with four boxes that don't have no right. closing. And we can go to work. Okay. That's how I start. But don't call me. I said, "Well, you good? You tell me everything, cause we got a problem." Right. Seven zero eight nine nine. Cause then you should. I should. You shouldn't be calling me. I should be calling you. Right. Helping you. <laughs> right. So you gotta get clear about what you want. What's required to get what you want. So now you know what you want. But then how you gonna go about getting it? What's the time frame on you gonna get it? Who is your target audience? Earl said, "Call in five minutes." Seven zero eight two two three eight nine five three. I know that ain't what he said, but you don't have to put that out there. Okay, so <laughs> what's, what's the number to get in touch with you if they need help planning? 708 998 3799. 3799. Get clear about what you want, what's required, and then prioritize it. So if you got five steps to do it, then you get to prioritize what's most important. That's where you start. Or you start with what's the most difficult, right? right. Then you need an accountability partner. All your friends, they're going to support you. They're there for you. They got you. Now is your time for them to come aboard. Tell them I need you to call me once a week and see if I did these three things in five days. Not seven, five. Because you still got to live. You want to have a life to do other stuff. You know, you need, when you're in the car listening to hip hop, who, yeah, bang, yeah, listen to Joel Osteen. Listen come to on with Oprah it. Winfrey. Come on. When I'm in my car, I got CDs that's going to make me think I can fly. Yeah. Like yes. literally fly. Yeah. yeah. Right? And then I say, well, how am I do that? And so I may not figure that out right then, but in a couple of days, I figure it out. That's why I keep telling you, I need a driver because I'm in my car when I'm going to a meeting. I'm thinking about how I can help the people there, and I don't even know who they are. And you got to write it down. That's why I lift driving. But I have to important. be relaxed. And, and you can't be relaxed. You try to figure out where to go, watching the GPS, and this said no signal, and all this. You all discombobulated when you get there, and get there early. Call me, Darcy. I got I'm you. always sitting there 45 minutes. Early. I haven't tried Uber. You know, I'm going to have to step out and try Uber. Oh, God. No, wait, hold up. up. It's y left. Wait, oh, you just I'm cursed. Sorry. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, Jesus, she said oh, Uber. She's so oh, she feels bad. Don't, it's don't, a lift. Don't Send her into a, to a prison. Help. Come on. Get so it right. So adjust. <laughs> Lift, lift, adjust, adjust your visions and shift them and watch them unfold. Yes, we worry about how we gonna rob Peter to pay Paul, but you got it right here. You yeah. just need to put it on paper. Yeah, right. Like, somebody called me the other day. I used to have a resume business. I would get you a resume, it. three cover. Like, I'm telling you, I found a way to make money. Y'all think I'm playing? Well, that's good. And you so actually somebody don't called me on LinkedIn Tuesday and said, "You still do resumes?" Resumes. I did resumes. So I went and found my flyer for resumes. We got a consultation tomorrow morning at 9. <laughs> I'm going to do her resume. Look, I'm telling you. I told you. Listen right, to what. Y'all know. Oh, oh, she does seven up. streams of income. Oh, she's she don't need, play. Y'all need play. to understand she that because I'm, I'm getting sensitive. Yeah, here. she's because emotional. people always talk about. Well, I don't know. I can't do this. I, you can stop yes. saying you can't and say I, I will do this. I will do or it. We will because you can't do we it by will. yourself. We. You need but that. You need those three people. Get rid of the I and put in two letters. W E. So you can accomplish people. anything you want to do in America. Don't forget the phrase right. of pace. Stop complaining. Get off your butt and do, do something. It. Yes. Stop begging. Find yeah. a way to make it happen. If you don't know, then ask. There's no such thing as a dumb question. That's right. Ask. That is right. You you have not because you ask not. Ooh. And you will get I, surrounded by the people. You will just get surrounded. God will just start mm, moving yes. and shifting oh, yeah. people. Like right now. And, right. He just starts moving and yeah. shifting. Mm -hmm. People that you know. I didn't know Darcy even what eight we months met ago. And then we lost track. And yeah. then last year we reconnected. That that's really how and I, I'm yep. saying this because I I'm getting sensitive because people be you know, yeah, they got the wall. Yeah, Trump is something wrong with him. We know we gotta pray for him. Because I do pray for y'all. You have to pray for him. Yeah. But watch this. One income should not change your entire life. Yes. Yeah. It just shouldn't. 
You on the news, you can't pay rent, you can't, why not? Come on, Darcy. That, that should like... not be your only income. It just shouldn't. It can't be. We all have talents and gifts. Yes. It's time to use them. Yes. There's nothing wrong with being afraid, but you got to have faith. Ooh, really? You gotta have faith. Faith without works is, is dead. dead. It's dead. Cause you gotta, you gotta, you gotta move it. And, with I, the, and faith. the reason yeah. I'm saying this to you, and I'm getting sensitive, cause <clears throat> two weeks ago I got on my knees in my bedroom with this water, because I didn't know what to do. Tell it, it was Tell overwhelming, it and yeah. I was like, God, I don't know. Is people coming to me, offering me book deals, offering me money, offering me this, and I didn't know what to do. God spoke to me and said, be still. Mm. And then I had a meeting yesterday and just got some people together and asked for help. I, I asked for powerful. help. It was powerful. And it was, I was in tears. It was a powerful meeting. On my way home with Denise Jeffries, I got emotional in my car. We have not because we don't ask for it. I ain't afraid of hearing the word no. If you're afraid of hearing the word no, you got a problem. Well, yeah. Don't get it. Because I've been hearing right. no since I could walk. Mm -hmm. yeah. But no don't mean no. It, let me tell you what no means because I'm a stalker. If I want something <laughs> from you, I'm going to find a way to get you to help right. me get it. No means not right now. And delayed, delayed does not mean denied. I'm taking a pause. We're coming back. I Keep can't even up. tell you people you need in your life. We have to do that next week. I'm telling you. You have to get past failure and do something about your life and your lifestyle. Your children should not suffer because of you. Mm. Your family should not suffer because of you. Mm. I don't care if you live in Cabrini Greens and there was seven of y'all in a one bedroom or a studio. Yes. I don't care about that. What are you going to do right now right to now. change your yeah. circumstances? You tune in to Making Ways with Ms. Darcy, intellectualradio.com and iHeartRadio station. I'm coming back for my closing remarks because I'm upset. You need to be being dope in 2019. Back in a moment. Who's listening? I know because they're here. And now we need, a, we need an acronym for that. Yo, dope. We need an acronym for that. We need four words that spell out dope. Optimistic. What she's positive. doing. Dope. We need a shirt. It's something we got. I got to figure that out. Let's think about that. I gotta figure it out. This one yeah, I can't deal with this yeah. Right that one. Um, so my um, my girlfriend, she hosts a watch party for the video, and um, my OSHA, she's the one in um Texas. Uh, she always does a watch party, oh, okay. but she was talking about it's tax season. She's the same way. She's like you. Shout out to my OSHA. That's my girl. Shout out she, to my OSHA. Yeah, she is the know, bomb. But shout out to you. She do um the bad bombs. She does the text, and she works for the school. But she's always finding the stream. It's like whatever season it is, she finding that stream income for her family. Yeah. She is just, I mean, actually, she's just like you. Yeah. She says it's unlimited. And she has a cleaning service. Of That's putting what I'm grass. I'm and, That's yeah. What I'm about. Yeah. I need five strings. I need something to come yeah. in seven times. Yeah. Period. And she's yeah. always been like that. That's why we've been best friends since third grade. I'm on Social Security. I'm telling you, it's going to yeah. wake some folks up. That's the stuff I get from Social Security is scared. This should scare everybody. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. When they give you this as far as the information, if you stop working right now, this is what you're getting. You'd be like, what? Yeah. yeah. You worked it. all your life. But that's why, too, a lot of people that retire they five still years working. later, they got to go to the grocery store. They're bagging your groceries. I'm not yeah. going to Walmart saying welcome yeah. to Walmart. I'm yeah. just not going to so help sorry. you. And I feel yeah, so I'm sorry not, for I'm that. I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay, I'm ready to go back and close it out, y'all. Welcome back if you're tuning in. I, you know, I apologize. I don't want nobody to be offended, but I ha I had to go there. It ain't on my notes. It ain't on my... I mean, I got two things to talk about. We're going to have to carry that over to next week. Yes. But sometimes you have to say what you need to say and speak from your heart. Yes. You know, everybody has a skill, a talent, or they're passionate about something. It's not your job. It's not your nine to five. Mary Datcher said this yesterday. She was on a panel, and she said, no, she might not have liked her job, right? So she's in corporate America. Her first job she worked at, she was like, oh, I guess it wasn't his job. But the job was training her for her own business, to be her own boss, to be her own CEO. Mm -hmm. So she learned what they did, and she learned what she didn't want to do when she became her own boss, right? And then she went to another job, and same thing, and she started stacking her money, saving her money for her business, working on her for her business. Mm -hmm. In journalism, being the best, dopest, you know, mixing um, 
celebrities and entertainers together and having global mix and having all these big conferences and events. And she said, but if you don't like your job, a lot of people don't, but find something in that job that can help you get to your place where you want to create for you. And so if you said, if I was a boss, everybody wouldn't be on a tight rope. They need to be off. They need to be off. I understand. I get migraines. If you call me and you say you're sick, I get, I get it. Right. I just didn't know when you're going to make it up. But That's I want right. you to get well first and take care of you. I'm just saying, bosses don't think like that. Not right. all of no, them. No. They just want you back no. there. Right. You know, and so what I'm saying is the it, it teaches you mm -hmm. to be compassionate. Be compassionate. It also teaches you how to save money. Yes. I'm going to do a money empowerment and tell you some stuff I did when I didn't have no income, got laid off. But I always managed to keep to get two income. I started a resume business. I, with me had people, PC, and AOL. I started creating websites and went and bought a CD on how to make a website. And that was so long ago. I'm That's telling awesome. you. They was like, you do websites? Yeah, you want to school for it? No, I went on this thing and got the CD and put it in the thing. And <laughs> need a website? Okay, I, can, I can't make it fancy, but I can make it look like this. I'm telling right. you. Right. That's good. You can do whatever you put your mind to do. Period. And now Mary Datcher, she worked for the Chicago Defender. I just love what she said. And I don't have my notes. But she went in and she, I stood up in class. She was amazing yesterday. We can learn from everyone. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to let them go down. And, you know, we always leave with something positive. You know, whatever you all feel the need to say. But I got two things for you that I need. We're going to close this out. But I'm going to let them start. Because we need to sew into you so that it's positive. Yes. Letting you know, don't be afraid. We've been there, right? And it's okay. You move past that. You focus on how you're going to move past that and be dope. Be yes. the dopest you that you can be. We're going to start with Charmin. Uh, she has a product out now. She was featured on The Jam the other day. Ooh. Check her page out, Charmin Edwards. You got kids. You need those little, uh, what you call them, Afro puffs. Get you some. I had a ponytail puff the other day. So I'm going to be wearing mine up in here. Y'all think I'm going to wear a ponytail? Oh, I will wear a ponytail. I look cute in a ponytail too. Don't <laughs> so long in. You know what I want to say? First of all, I, I love Darcy. Y'all have to love her. Her passion is so yes. real. You know, it's like mine. You want people to be successful. So what I want to say is, you know, when you're approaching a situation, make sure that you are approaching it with joy in your heart. A lot of people get too angry too quickly. And angry people can't think. Your goal should always be to get what you need. So whatever you need to do to be quiet, to pay attention, to listen, you know, the end result, you'll get what you need. Make sure that you have a good attitude. And collaboration is my 2019 word. Find somebody you can collaborate with and make it happen. That's awesome. <laughs> collaboration. collaboration. And... and, and do all that she said on purpose. On purpose. Yes. Intentionally do it on purpose. Yes. Ooh, I I'm, like you what? I am a product of what she's speaking about. What she's speaking about, you're going to see happen right here in my life, right before your very eyes. Come on. I don't have all the knowledge that Darcy has, but that's why God put me on this platform so I can learn and glean behind her. And what I want to say is about serving. See, I don't know everything but God oh put goodness. me in a position to glean behind someone who knows more than me. There you go. So sister. I just told Darcy before we started, these hands, just, when that million dollar car, if you need these hands, I can do water. I can mix ingredients. I can drive too. her to her too. meeting. Y'all, yeah, I ain't joking. You're going to see it manifest right drive. before your very eyes. Ebony, Sarah Louise, Kelly, let's get it, y'all, on purpose. I like that you, I like both of everything that you said just because I find it so relevant to everything that I was going through yesterday I'm not gonna be long-winded but I was going through a really hard time yesterday I was at work and like someone had honked at me in my bus and I was like like and we were just in the parking lot and like I, I went in and I was like I don't understand why people get so frustrated all the mm -hmm. time so quickly like you were saying keep a positive attitude I'm like I go through so much I'm like I get up at 6 in the morning and I don't get home until 11 o'clock at night I don't fall asleep until 12 and I get up and do it all over again I'm like whatever you're going through try to stay positive That's through right. it yeah, and like you said do it on purpose I, on I purpose. agree with that That's like right. where there's a will there's a way I was getting so frustrated I was trying to design something and it just wasn't going through and and you just keep pursuing Keep positive Stay and do positive. it on purpose. Yeah. Do it on purpose. Hey, did she say on purpose? Real quick, because we out of time. We definitely out of thoughts.
But now most people who are watching this won't share it, but you should, all right? So, and most people sure. won't have the courage to just take a chance on mm -hmm. you. Take a chance on you and walk into your dopeness in 2019. So I'm challenging each and every one of you all. Starting today, I want you to do it even if you have to be afraid. Yes. But I need you to do it. And then close and build your own dreams or someone else would hire you to build theirs. And that could be me or one of these lovely ladies. Until next time, we're out. Thanks for tuning in and please share the podcast. Dope, dope show. Thanks. Oh Thanks my God. In. Yes. Um, I like, like I said, my, my, my BFF in Texas, she does a watch party and the comments are just coming in. Like it's growing. This was, today was it. You touched a lot of people, whether they are doing it or want to do it. Where you going? Don't be rushing me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we gotta hit the um. Oh, I want to say. Yeah. Bye bye. Be dope. The dopest person you can be. Y'all yes. know how to turn that one off. Be the dopest person you can be in 2019 and get those seven streams of income. Free consultation. Call me 708 998 3799. 708 998 3799. Let me help you be the dopest you in 2019. Change your water, change your life. I believe in you. Change your water, change your life. Do you believe in yourself?